Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Lewis Pike here. Today I want to do a quick video on how to point uh, your domain name from Cloudflare to your WordPress site. So let's jump into it. So I'm currently setting up a WordPress site, which I plan on hosting a membership platform on, and I need to create a subdomain to point to the website. So I'm going to use my domain name here, lewispike.co, and create a subname from it, and I'm going to update it. Currently right now, um, the site is membersluis.wpengine.com, which is my hosting provider, WP Engine. But I want to change that to a custom domain name, so let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, I'm here at Cloudflare, of course, and I'm in my um, Cloudflare account. So I'm going to create a C name, and I want the membership site to just be members. Um, I want it to be members, let me spell members right, dot lewispike.co. And I want it to point to my WP Engine um, site. So right now, this is that I mentioned earlier, the domain name is members lewis.wpengine.com. I want to change that. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to go back to Cloudflare and I'm just going to add a subdomain here and let's do add record and then that is it all that I need to do here in Cloudflare. Um, there is no www because essentially this subdomain name here is um, the www so instead of the www just be members.lewispike.co. Um, and basically, if you were to point um, the www, like if I just wanted to do www.lewispike.co, um, I would essentially just update the, um, I have that going to another site right now, um, my current membership provider, which I'm going to be switching off of, but I'm probably just going to have this just go to another website altogether. So if I wanted to update that though and have it go to WP Engine, I would essentially just put the members uh, Lewis dot WP engine here instead of what I currently have it. And that is it um, for Cloudflare. So the next part is we need to go into, um, so for WP engine, I need to go in here and I need to add that domain name. So I'll come back here. I'm in my WP engine um, dashboard. And I did a video earlier already on how to set up hosting using WP engine. So I'll link that up in the description. So if you want to go back and see how I set up the WP engine install, how I purchased the account, um, I have that video. I will have a link down below so you can go through that. So I'm going to go here and enter a domain name. So right now it currently still has the um, default one. I'm going to add a domain name here. Not that. I want it to be members dot Lewis Pike. If I can spell my last name, dot co. That is the domain name I just set up in Cloudflare. So that is the first part. So we can just exit that out. So it's there. And I'm going to set this as the primary as well while I'm here. And then now I need to go back to my WP Engine install. So the let's just dismiss this here. So right now it still has that domain name there. But let's go in here. And one thing you want to do if you have um, if you don't have your password or your username saved, make sure you go ahead and save that information now because the login URL is going to change once we update this next step, which will be the last step. So I'm going to come in here to settings and then I want to come in here to general. And right now it's just Lewis Pike blog, but I'm just going to call it. Um, I can come back in and change this later. call it membership and then we'll just do site all right so that's it I don't need a tagline right now and I'm going to update this domain name to the domain name I just set up so let's do members dot Lewis Pike dot co and 
then we'll do the same thing here. Also, um, what Cloudflare does is it provides a um, SSL security as well, so which is free. So Cloudflare is free, so you should go set up a free account that provides, it gives like a paid option, but just select a free option and you can add as many domains as you want. And call coming through, decline that. All right, so I think we're good here. Um, nothing I need to do here. Maybe I'll go in and update the time zone later. Um, actually, I'll just do it now since I'm here. Let's find America. And we want to do, I'm in Central, so I'll just do Chicago. So that's fine. The date and all that stuff is fine. If you want to update that, that's fine. Time format, I'll leave it like this. And then I'm going to save the changes here. So once I hit the save button, my new domain name or my new login URL will be members.lewispike.co. So I'm going to save it real quick. All right, as you see, it's updated here. So now luckily I have saved my um, password information. So I just need to find that info and then we're going to log in here as well i'm looking over in the other screen because i have it saved over here so i'm just going to find that really quick and then i'll come in and i will update it where are we all right let's sort by most recent to wp engine Awesome, here we go. So I have it here. Let's just go there. And then I'll just bring it over here. So Lewis, and then I have the password. I'm just going to paste here and I'm going to log in. And ta-da, now I am here at my site with my new domain name and then that is pretty much it for how you point a domain name or subdomain in this situation um, to your wordpress site using cloudflare um, if you guys have any questions just let me know again i'll link up how to set up your free hosting account um, in wp engine well actually not a free hosting account but they do have some pretty um convenient price plans. I think they have a personal plan, which I think is like around like 30, 40 bucks a month, or they have like a pro plan, which is a multi-site and you can do up to like 10 installs. I personally have the pro plan because I have several websites on my WP engine account. It's a little bit higher than some of the others, but their customer service, their reliability, their site speed, their uptime, I think is one of the best and they're located here in the city in Austin where I'm located. So um, that's another plus. But outside of that, even if they weren't here, um, I would still use them just because the customer service level and the ease of use of their platform to set up websites. You guys can see on the video that I'll link up how easy it is to sign up and set up an install um, and get your WordPress sites up going so uh, i will see you guys on the next video i'm going to do some more videos of me finishing setting up my membership site stack but i want to do this quick video on how to simply point your domain name um, to your wp engine or your wordpress site using cloudflare see you guys on the next video